Welcome to Murcia, a region in Spain celebrated for its rich culture and history spanning thousands of years. My culture tour of the Murcia region begins right here in the capital city of Murcia. I'm currently in the real casino of Murcia, which used to be the real casino, and it is incredible. This is such an opulent building. On the main square behind the beautiful red facade, you'll find the Bishop's Palace dating back to the 1700s. Towering above Mercia and one of the undisputed stars of the city is the Cathedral of Mercia, which opened in 1465. A mix of Gothic, Baroque and Renaissance architecture is stunning just to wander around and explore and heading up the tower will give you incredible views over the city. It's only about a 15 minute drive from the city to get here, but it feels completely differently. You've got these incredible views looking out the city and then the monastery just here. The ornate and stunning architecture of Santa Clara Monastery has been converted into a museum. And here you'll find housed Islamic and Christian artifacts and art dating back over the years. I really like Cartagena. It's incredible. You've got all of this amazing Roman history, but you've also got cool restaurants and modern bars. The second city of the Mercia region sits on the coast and has long been one of the most important ports in Spain. Start your tour of Cartagena in the castle, where the remains have been turned into a park with stunning views of the city, and inside you'll find a small museum. Next up, head to the Punic Wall of Cartagena, an archaeological site which is protected and houses defensive walls dating back to the 1st century BC. The real star of Cartagena is the Roman theatre, dating back to the 1st century BC. Sadly, a lot of this was destroyed, but the restoration work has been done fantastically and it's actually still ongoing. So the first part of the cathedral here was built in the 13th century and then the extinction added in the 16th. It's pretty incredible that right in the heart of Cartagena you have all of this Roman history. A worthwhile final stop in Cartagena is the National Museum of Underwater Archaeology. Given Cartagena's fame as a port over the years, there's a lot of artifacts that have been discovered nearby that are displayed here. The next stop on my cultural tour of Mercy is Lorca, a city inland, and you'll notice the landscape change as you approach the thousands of years of history. is the Embroidery Museum, but the building is stunning and it's the kind of place that's really understanding itself because you think it would just have a, the fabrics which are also beautiful, but this room, um, the converted church is in, in absolutely stunning. The Archaeological Museum of Lorca houses history and discoveries that are still being made today. We've got Roman history here, Judaism history, the Islamic history of the city, and it's just incredible quite how far this city dates back to, believed to be around 6,000 years ago. Incredible views on top of the castle looking out on all of Lorca. Just down there inside the castle itself is where I'm going to be sleeping tonight. One of the coolest things about this hotel is you're literally sleeping on history. And just in here underneath the hotel is a synagogue. In Jumala, you can visit the well-preserved Jumala Castle, which now functions as an exhibition space, before heading to the mountains and visiting the Santa Ana Monastery, where inside you'll find the small church, beautiful artwork, and even a museum hidden in the basement. And the final stop on my cultural tour of the Mercy region is Yekla, a town famous for its wine, but also for its beautiful architecture and rich history. <laughs>